So now that you have downloaded the installer of uh, DigiCam, you can just execute it and uh, you can just read the instructions because it is very much advisable. First, second screens are useless, so just you can ignore them. But besides that, uh, the rest of the instructions will be very important. So you can just choose uh, where you want to install these inst uh, software. So after doing that, it will start the installation process which will take a few minutes and it's done so you can read that instruction as well and if you want to keep the installer file or you want to remove them choose over there and once that is done you can just run the dgcam and uh, this is the first uh, dialog of the dgcam when it starts read the instructions and then you can just move to next and here you can choose uh, where the files would be or where the files are where you have images or the videos which you want to import or access through digicam after doing that or if you want to change the destination you can do that as well and once that is selected just go to next and here you will be looking at where the database of uh, digicam would be kept uh, this is very important because uh, in case uh, it gets lost somewhere digicam won't be able to work and it would be it would need a, an installation uh, so that you can install it again but then you need to remove it completely which is a pain so just be very careful about the database just keep it separate in a separate folder and never access that or change anything and once that is done you can just uh, tweak in a few details over here and uh, once that is done the first window of digicam would appear and but these steps are very important because they ask you very important things like you know how to open the files should those be optimized files or should they be original files which uh, it will show as a preview or where should the database be kept where should the files be saved so these are really important configurations which uh, digicam needs in order to understand your preferences and accordingly it, it uh, tweaks in and um, makes that happen so very important steps are here and once that is done you are just ready to witness the world of digicam thanks so much for watching this tutorial if you liked it Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you didn't then leave a comment so that we can improve it further. Do watch these suggested tutorials to learn even more and do let us know what you want to learn on being skilled.